From GPS to asset management, technology plays a crucial role in allowing public works professionals to do their jobs effectively and best serve their communities. But as the technologies change year on year, how do you stay on top of the latest developments? Well, the American Public Works Association has you covered. I'm joined by Tracy Peterson, chair of the APWA Technology Committee, to discover the APWA's top five trending technologies for 2024. Thank you so much for joining us. Hello, thank you for having me. So tell us, um, first of all, why this list was created, what was the idea behind it, and how was it put together? Yes, so APWA is really on top of that uh, changing in the environment. Public works, we've always adapted very well to uh, whether it's an emergency or a trending technology. And so really having the uh, community and the members speak to what is coming up and we really need to stay on top of it because it doesn't change in an instant. We need to have time, but technology is changing very rapidly. So the technical committee members and the Council of Chapters come up with 16 trending technologies. And then the members actually vote on them. It's quite a game and so people get really into it, but they, they have a lot of fun with the um, identifying the top five. And those top five are ones that we really need to be paying attention to in our industry because they make a difference in our work and our communities. So what are the top five top techs? So this won't surprise anybody, but artificial intelligence is one of the top. And then we also have GIS mapping is very important to our communities as well. And then we also have lead service uh, pipe identification. So that is the lead services in the water systems that are going from the mains to the houses. And if you remember, um, stories from Flint, Michigan, that is very um, important to people's health in our communities. And then we also have um, sustainability in response to severe events. And so as climate change happens and we see many more intense storms coming through our communities, those actually um, damage a lot of our infrastructure. And so how can we be resilient to those through green infrastructure or um, other means to protect those transportation systems? Microgrids are the fifth one. And so the microgrids are important, again, for a resiliency aspect of looking at the energy system and making sure that in the emergency response, we can have a microgrid that's going to um, provide us that energy that we need to uh, get everything back up and running. So how do people get the list and what do you think we might be looking at for 2025? That is a great question and we had a lot of discussion yesterday at the technology committee meeting. So the um, the list is on the Public Works APWA website, and then we also have articles in the APWA Reporter Magazine that comes out annually. And so the 2025, we are looking at, um, looking really at a, a new approach to this. And so what we want to do is look at um, where those trending technologies have been from 2018 until now, see where they're going. And of course, artificial intelligence is a big conversation. It actually has been around for decades, but it's in the limelight a lot more lately, just with the conversations around um, more of the generative AI and the chat GPTs and the, those types of conversations, but yet machine learning has been around a long time and a lot of us in public works have been using it for our pavement management systems and other assessments. And so it is very important while also um, educating and, and getting over some of those fears, but also having our eyes open. Tracy Peterson, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It was a pleasure. You are welcome, thank you.